What's up, folks? This is Zero here, and I want to just reach out to everybody as today is a sad, sad day for me. So you see, I've got to say goodbye to a couple of old friends. And the reason that I have to say goodbye to these, these old friends of mine isn't nothing that, that was bad or wasn't nothing that was, you know, mean or derogatory or hurtful. In fact, I'm not even sad that I got to say goodbye to these old friends. Because what I'm having to say goodbye to is the sacrifice worth making in the long run. Let me explain why. You see, we've been helping out and trying to do donation streams and fundraisers to help veterans, uh, to help men and women serving, and to help raise, to raise awareness for PTSD, which isn't just military related. I mean, if you go through a very traumatic incident, uh, you, can, you can suffer from this. And we want to help raise awareness. And I said, look, folks, if we hit our target mark by this day, I will do this. And if we do it by this day, I'll do that, right? Most of y'all remember. Well, for those that don't know, I said that I would shave my beard if we hit it by a Friday. If we hit it by a Thursday, I would shave my hair, my beard, and be done with it. Clean shave. <laughs> so I'm saying goodbye to these old friends, but I'm not really sad about it, folks. I'm really happy because, see, the men and women who serve this country... Sacrifice, sacrifice far greater and, and they're not getting appreciated they're not getting recognized they're, they're underpaid and yet they go out there and they serve this country and they fight wars and they give their lives and they come home and if they do come home they lose things in their lives here they lose family members they, they lose themselves and to that, that that's just not an excuse we need to be able to get out there and help them. We need to be able to show them that we love and care for them. Because those people are the reason we get to sleep at night. Those people are the reason that we have a free country. Those people are the reason why my heart is so dead set on helping them. Because they are good people out there doing a job that most people couldn't even fathom do. So with that being said, I'm going to cut this intro clip out real quick so I can move to my bathroom and begin the process. And y'all get to witness this. So first and foremost, though, I want to say thank you to all our servicemen and women out there who have served and those that are serving. And I also want to thank those who are willing to go serve, that are going into boot camp. I got a buddy that just left for boot camp. I want to say thank you. And also, I want a big shout out to uh, Sergeant Lunchbox, my wife. She can give you a big hug right now because I'm getting rid of this and she's been wanting me to get rid of this beard forever. This is for you, bud. This is for everybody out there. There's so many of y'all that I know that I want y'all to know that we love and care for you, that we are here for you, and if there's things we can do for you, let us know. And folks, if you want to help out, get with me. You can find me on Xbox Live at ChaosXXZ3ROXX. You can also find me on Facebook, legend underscore of underscore zero, Z3RO, and you can get with me and I can send you links to your area that you can go and help uh, in your community to help support veterans. So with that being said, folks, I'll see y'all in three minutes in my bathroom. I know that sounds kind of shitty, but join me. Hi, folks. This is Zero back again. Welcome to my bathroom. Unfortunately, uh... You know, i got to bring y'all in here so I can do this. Um, so here's the deal. My hair isn't gray. Uh, it isn't white. But I did put some baby powder in there to help because these are brand new shears. Um, and there's no guard on them. I took the guard off. I'm going baby smooth so the baby powder might help a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to chop it all off, folks. So here we go. Y'all get to see something that uh, I'm never getting into Valhalla. Damn you, Sarge. Well, Odin. Jeez. It's for a good cause though, folks. Besides, it's just hair. I'm gonna lose it one day anyways. Wow. It was really thick.
Now, and actually, what I should have done was I should have sharpened my knife because it's time for it to be sharpened. And I should have done it the old Viking way and just kind of cut it off, you know, I guess. But nonetheless, you know, it's a work. Wow, you know, I could donate this to Locks of Love for men to grow beards. <laughs> Not making, not making nobody mad right there with that. I'm just being silly, guys. Don't get upset. Oh, my God. I did not know I looked that ugly underneath this. See, a beard is a good disguise for ugly men, too. A little thick, guys. A little thick. Okay, so that's without it on. I'm going to shave uh, it all smooth. I do have my trusty. I don't even know where the hell it's been. I ain't even seen it in that long razor. Uh, and of course my big uh, Brillo pad mess here. Now, <laughs> here comes the fun part, ladies and gentlemen, as I remove the do. So, without further ado, no pun intended, we're cutting. Jeez, here we go. You know what, let's do it like this. Oh, whoa. I'm about to bog him out. The hell. So in case y'all don't know, this is what most men are gonna look like when they get old anyways. You know, just partial hair. Yeah, that's how that's gonna work out for most of y'all. I'm getting ready for it. I'm gonna have fun cleaning up in here today. Normally, if I was to do this, I would do it outside, but since uh, somebody has to hold the camera, I gotta do it myself. My hair is thick. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, please know that this is for a good cause. I mean, to help our, our veterans, to help our men and women who serve, and to help raise awareness for PTSD, 
I don't care how many times a month I've got to shave my head, shave my beard, whatever it takes to help, I'm willing to do. Well, I say that, but there's some things I'm just not willing to do. But, you know, because I know I got some of you smart ass friends out there that'll be making some shit up real quick. So, uh, just let y'all know. Yes, God, I'm talking about you. And, uh, so, anyways. Folks, I want y'all to get involved in your communities. And, you know, get involved in your online communities as well. I mean, we all know the internet. Everybody trusts everything that goes on the internet, right? Everybody reads everything, everybody, especially Facebook. A lot of y'all Facebook junkies out there, you know what I'm talking about. Get involved. Find the real nonprofit organizations that are out there to help. And get involved. Do the research. Research PTSD. Get involved. Get aware. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, my favorite thing is a lot of people say, well, I've had it and I got over it. Now, I'm sorry to tell you, you don't get over it. You learn to manage. Put all that baby powder in my head, it's kind of clogging up now. Maybe I should put it on it. Maybe I should have put a guard to start with. Then I could have just went over. No, who knows? I don't normally. When I used to keep my hair like this, you know, back when I was just always keeping it like this, there's no problem because it was just always an no guard thing. In that moment, I decided to let my hair grow, my beard grow, the whole nine yards grow. Yeah. Forgot what I was doing. Now here in a minute, my daughter's gonna come help and finish out, make sure it's all edged up. Yeah, a little music for y'all. I wonder how many of y'all gonna watch this video and die laughing at my ass. But you know what? Let me be your clown today. Because I wanna bring a smile to everybody's face. I'm never gonna get to my holiday now, Kelsey. That's right, that's a good thing too, because I believe in God, so. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Damn, I think I put too much baby powder in my head. 
Hey, it's Christmas time. It's snowing on me. Hey, hey, hey. Do, 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 do. I'm about to whoop somebody's ass. No, none of y'all want to sing that with me. I'm about to whoop somebody's ass. At least when I get on the game, I'll try to. Piece don't look it off. There we go. Bye. Farewell. Okay, so that's gone. Find this funny and entertaining, do you? I bet you're so happy too, honey. You know, the beard's got it won't tickle you anymore, right? I don't know how many times she's threatened to cut it off so I won't get in the Valhalla. Hell. I got to cut it off first. Ha <laughs> ha. In fact, she's so thrilled right now, she can't stop chuckling over there because I am had to cut it off. Either that or she's laughing about how dumb I look right now. Okay, so we're going to check it out. Fat ass. Yeah, that's right, folks. I'm a big boy. They feed us right in the south. If you ain't big in the south, you're gonna be a meal for somebody.
So what I want to do here is I want to make sure everything's good. Come here, honey, child, boo-boo, whatever we want to call you today. All right, check your daddy's bald head. Make sure there ain't no hair sticking everywhere. You look like a pink cushion gone bad. Let's go. Yeah, spot right there. I have a spot right there. See, look at that. She's already a genius. Hey, where are you going? Uh, I can't see that spot. Uh, where? Right where you keep doing it on, but it's not getting. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. You just have to be stuck at the spot. Yeah, maybe, maybe your eyes are bad. We gotta go get a damn check because you ain't been looking right. <laughs> yeah, this is bothering me. You have hair all in your shirt. And it looks like well, that's okay. It looks like you have a hairy back and it bothers me. Well, maybe the. No, I'm not even gonna suggest <laughs> the next one. Just doing it and say you don't know what I can do. No, I ain't doing it. You have it all over your neck, too. That's okay. I'm so, talking about hair you haven't shaved yet. It's getting shaved. No. I'm too short, I can't see. Um, uh, you're not short, you're a people McNuggie. Right there, right there, right there. Somebody. Can I get back in the bathroom now? <laughs> Go to your corner. Okay. Because she's standing in there because my wife was standing over there. Yeah, so. I don't believe in wasting water. So I feel my sink, you know. Water is a uh, precious resource. Some people don't deserve it because they waste it. Take like five hour baths and shit like that. You know. And, and they don't just fill the water like one time, they fill it like seven, eight times. Mama, he's talking about you. No. Your mother only takes a two hour shower and fills it twice. No, I'm just playing. I don't even know. My longest is six hours. Six hours? <laughs> what the hell? You came out looking like a prune, probably. Jeez. That's probably why you're so short. You shrunk it. Our music would be better than your heavy breathing. That's you. That's <laughs> funny, probably, man. You heard her earlier? <laughs> Susanna. <laughs> I was like, where the hell is that coming from? I thought that leech snuck in here.
Red that face. Oh god. I'm about to whoop somebody else. Keep waiting for him to poke himself in the eye on accident. And ladies and gentlemen, this completes the shaving process. Now I'm gonna have to kick every one of your asses out the bathroom, cause I gotta clean up, take a shower, and go upload this. But before we go, again, I wanna thank all the men and women who have served this country, who are serving this country, and who will serve this country. And for all those of you out there suffering from PTSD, or have a family member or friend that's suffering from PTSD, there is help out there. Contact a local nonprofit or and find where you can get the help because it isn't the end force. There is a way and we can make it by standing together, working together and pushing for the future. I wanna tell everybody out there how much I appreciate you, all those who have donated. I love y'all very much for taking the time for being big hearted and helping out. For all those that didn't want to but couldn't but found ways to, to be involved or show your support, that same love goes out to y'all. But this being said, folks, if you are in need and it gets really bad, hit the crisis hotline, folks. Your life is worth living. Somebody loves you. We all love you. And I just want to wish everybody a great day. And I'll see y'all on Xbox.